Heyo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another Channel 5 Gaming Contest. We are bringing back the Exploration Coaster Contest number two. We did this last year. Now, the difference between this one and the one last year was back then we did not do personal videos. All the explorations were tied into one long, hour-long video. We're going to be doing things with the new method, and I feel like this co this contest hasn't been done properly, considering it hasn't been done with the new personal video method. Now, this may be one of the last coaster contests. I don't want to say last for sure, but it's certainly going to be a while before we do another one because of all the other games and things I'm thinking about doing on the channel in the foreseeable future here. So it could be a very long wait before we do another one where I find a window of opportunity to slam in another contest. So we're going big with this one for sure. So be sure to participate because I do not know when the next one will be for sure. I, I do like the idea of doing another movie coaster contest sometime in the future though, so hopefully we'll bring that one back as well. Anyways, let's get right on into this. Channel 5 Gaming's Exploration Coaster Contest makes a return. An Exploration Coaster is an enormously long coaster that traverses beautiful terrain and vistas throughout a massive map slash canvas. All coasters will be voted on by the public to determine the winners, so no judges this time, guys. The voting did work out very well with the last couple contests, so I think that's the way to go. Disclaimer here, your creation must meet a certain quality standard to be recorded, edited, released on the channel. This simply means I will not feature something I feel only has a few hours of effort gone into it. Simply put some time and effort in and you'll be fine. Now, we've seen this with the first contest. There was some work in progress stuff, some things that people just threw together in a couple hours. And, you know, it's going to take me more than a couple hours to do these videos for you. So I expect you at least put some solid effort into your creation so if i see something that's subpar i will just skip it and move on to the next one put in a, a week's worth of effort you know 40 hours or something you have a month to do it you'll be more than fine I want to see some quality in there. Don't throw it together in an afternoon. <laughs> That's my point. So we got some examples here. We recently fe fe featured Expedition Icarus, which was a very cool creation by Combat Wombat. And I said it was one of the best exploration coasters I've ever seen. So definitely give this one a watch. I might even have some videos over on the side playing of uh, exploration coasters to give you guys something to look at while I explain these rules. So you'll be seeing uh, Expedition Icarus in one of these boxes here. Uh, then we did some... Wi uh, I decided to post some of the winners from last year's contest into the jungle, the Ice Queen, Dragon Scale Tail, Skull Island, and Jurassic Expedition. Some amazing creations. If you want to see who won, you can go check those out to get an idea of how you can kind of win as well with the same quality in these ones. So the contest is going to run from today to February 8th. That gives you roughly four weeks to work on this, and it gives me some time to record them, edit them before Anthem drops, which is a game I'm going to be covering on the channel. So hopefully I can get all these done and just start rolling them out as I'm playing Anthem and covering Anthem. Videos will be recorded, edited, and released as coaster spotlights as quickly as I'm able to produce them. So personal videos yet again, guys, with your own thumbnails and all that stuff. At the end of every bracket, a voting form will be released. The winners will all be announced at the end of the contest. Since this contest is so demanding, every first, second, and third place winner of each bracket will receive a Steam game of their choice from the prize pool of over 350 games. So very generous contest test this time you guys so five brackets three winners I'm going to be giving out at least 15 games unless we have a sixth bracket that would be 18 games so giving out a lot of games here you could and uh the prize pool has grown and there's some really good games on that list and i have that linked down below so the big important stuff let's go over the rules we'll talk about this in detail here so only one per submission per member no one is stopping you from getting help or collaborating on your coaster however remember it's still only one submission per member so for example if combat wombat uh, helps out wix on his coaster wix is submitting it and combat is not getting the credit for it and not winning the prize but then there's nothing stopping people from helping each other on their creation so feel free to collaborate if you so choose but remember it's only going under one person's name no redecorating existing coasters from your workshop or other people's so this just means do not download galcyon's coaster and redecorate it you will get disqualified you can use the workshop don't abuse it you can make the you must 
make the actual coaster yourself. So you can use the workshop to get houses, decoration, you know, bridges, whatever you feel, trains, blah, 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 blah. Decorate using the workshop. This will allow you to use that whole month to your advantage as all you have to really worry about is your terrain, your landscaping, your coaster. Then you can go in, grab stuff off the workshop and just start decorating like crazy. Momentum and exploration. So these aren't exactly rules, but they are advice for a lot of these, but some of them are. So let's go over it. Your coaster should climb a long decorated and entertaining lift. So you can have a lift, it doesn't have to be decorated, but you're gonna do better and it'll be a better coaster experience. It'll be a better video and it'll get more people voting on it if you have things to look at on your lift. Um, so try to make your lift entertaining because it's gonna be very long because your coaster is gonna be at least 3000 meters long. So you're gonna have to have a big lift. The coaster will then drop, soar, dive at insane but tolerable speeds and eventually come back up to reasonable speeds. So it's all about momentum, guys. Up and down, up and down, drying out the speed of that coaster, getting that friction working nicely for you in your favor. The coaster should be a song and dance up and down momentum. Eventually, when it runs out of speed and comes to a crawl, this is when it should be entering the station. So a good. this is, again, advice. If you make a lift hill that's you know, 10,000 feet tall, and then it comes flying into the station, and it's so fast throughout the whole experience, maybe you didn't need the lift hill to be that big. And then it's just over exhilarating and not rideable. So be very careful with your lift. And again, using some of these as examples, you can go check out to see how high their lift was in the in the link of the, if you click the link to the video, there'll be a link in the description of said video to take you to download this said creation. You can open it up and figure out how tall was the lift on Ex Jurassic Expedition? How tall was the lift in Into the Jungle? And you can see, you know, I get an idea of how tall your lift needs to be. Or you can just wing it. <laughs> but that goes into the next point. You have to have a minimum track length of 3,000 meters. That's what the last code contest had, which is roughly 10,000 feet. Use in-game settings to change the unit display if you need to. You can go longer if you want. Just keep the coaster to a reasonable time. I don't want 10-minute coasters, as I will be riding these in two different views. And generally, if they're 10, 15, 20-minute coasters, and you just went crazy and it's 30,000 meters, it's just going to be unbearable to watch. So be reasonable. You can go 5,000 meters if you want, 6,000. Just uh, try to hit at least 3,000 and make it an exploration at the very minimum. Allowed coasters. No launch coasters are allowed. Why, you might ask, the heart and soul of an exploration coaster is using the momentum of your lift to create an amazing coaster experience. Launchers allow you to cheat and add speed when needed. So, for example, if you launch the coaster off and then all of a sudden it's running out of momentum and it's not going to make it back to the station, you could just hit another launcher. And that kind of ruins that the challenge of the contest. There's supposed to be some sort of a challenge with every single contest, and that challenge is making sure you have the perfect lift height to match the the length of the coaster to hit 3,000 meters at minimum but also be exciting so that's why we're not allowing launchers no boomerangs allowed no more than two lifts and preferably one same as the above statement if you were to have constant lifts this is no different than having multiple launchers at this point you might as well be using a launch coaster I'm allowing second lifts for those who are using it in smart design decisions so if you have a block section a brake section or something like that and you're changing the pace of the coaster and doing something completely new you go from the land of uh, joy to the land of destruction you want to have a whole new lift that's cool use that second lift as a design decision not as a oh crap my coaster ran out of speed let's add another lift in uh, go back make that first lift bigger make the first drop higher and go back and rework the whole coaster if you find that you run out of speed that's that's the whole challenge that's the point of the contest is to challenge yourself to figure out the balance between lift height and momentum, but I'm allowing that second coast coaster lift for those who really botch it and go, it, it'd be impossible to fix it at this point. So just keep that in mind. Try to use a coaster that makes sense. And we, in the last contest, we did disqualified or we 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 said no kitty coasters. We, we didn't allow them. I'm allowing you to use any coaster this time, as long as it's not a boomerang and as long as you're not using a launch mechanic. 
So you could have an exploration when to go coaster if you really want to, but try to make something that makes sense and is an, an enjoyable experience. Inverted coasters may be a not be a wise choice as you cannot see vistas with the track over your head. So uh, however, a flying coaster looking down may work nicely because you might have valleys below. I think giga coasters always work great. Now, another thing to keep in mind that I didn't mention here that I'll say here in the video, there are no limits coaster restrictions. I should probably put this in somewhere. No limits coaster restrictions are allowed because this essentially allows you to make an when to go invert a wooden coaster invert if you want to have a gigantic wooden coaster do this amazing inversion you are allowed to do that but your guests have to be able to ride it so keep that in mind so submissions must be park files you must set up your pathing your cues your decorations and make it presentable for spotlight although the queue isn't that important as we will not be having guests on these due to the flailing arms and seat view so you'll have a queue i might walk down your queue but you know you don't need to worry and fret too much about that. Um, we're just going to be jumping on in test mode. So the coaster must be tested already so I can view the stats. So I don't have to test this five minute coaster before getting on. It must be tested already so I can immediately look at the stats and, and check it out. And then you must leave the coaster in test mode so it does not break down when I'm making the video. Coaster stats must be in acceptable ranges so guests would ride it. You're not gonna have guests riding it, but the guests should be able to ride it. Maybe other people wanna download your exploration coaster and build a park around it or whatever. Um, you should have an acceptable coaster. So keep that in mind when you're using no limits restrictions because that will increase the fear of a coaster and that might make it so the guests won't ride it. So it's a balancing act and that's why it's a challenge. That's why it's a contest. Coaster ride experience. It will be, I will be riding the coasters in POV view and also once in cinematic. You will be able to suggest riding it day or night in your submission information. Nighttime version is not necessary unless that's what you are going for. So don't bother to light the whole thing at nighttime if you're doing a beautiful scenic day coaster. No point in doing any lighting at all because that's just going to take extra time. But if you're trying to create a dark ride, that's when you might want to consider it. Also consider, I didn't put this in here, but consider using the cinematic camera. You can change the filter. You can uh, you can trigger the day-night sequencer. So maybe you want one part to be night, one part to be day. All things to consider. All that stuff is allowed. Custom images, billboards, videos, user generated content or the theme kit creations are all allowed so you can use the user downloaded content custom images all that stuff but you have to put it all into a google drive zip folder then have a link to it on your workshop page i will be mass downloading all the images and dropping them into the folder so if something goes wrong i will not be bothering to fix it so in other words as i'm looking at all the submissions and hitting subscribe i will go down below and see if there's a link and i'll click that link and i'll also download those and drop them in the folder i'm going to be doing them one at a time mass downloading them all so all of them will be subscribed to me on my computer and i'll have all the files in the folder when i load up your coaster for the first time i will not know out of all the thousands of files i downloaded which one to hook up so it all has to work properly there's going to be no me relinking things none of that so if something does not work i am not responsible for that please keep these files pg and appropriate for youtube so obviously don't send me crazy inappropriate images for your exploration coaster and honestly guys i don't even think custom images and billboards are necessary at all for an exploration contest but if you have some clever way of using them i'm giving you that option audio no custom audio is allowed uh, simply too many headaches with copyright claims uh it's just it's too much guys so please pick an appropriate song from the planko library for your coaster so the prize is i can give you a look here uh, as always, there's tons and tons of games, all ranging uh, at different prices. We got some expens expensive games, some cheaper games, lots of different things. And I actually have a bunch coming in. So by the time this contest is done, there'll probably be another 20, 30 games. Um, but there's a total of 290. So boom. And judging again, it's up to the Discord and the viewers to vote on every bracket. The voting form will be posted in both Discord and the community posts on my YouTube channel. As a voter, you get to pick your top three picks. First place earns three points, second place earns two points, and third place earns one point. The points will be tallied up and score. the scores will be shown publicly. So in other words, you're getting to pick three coasters and to give you, deciding who earns points. 
Now, obviously, from a process of many, many, many people voting, the cream will rise to the top. We've seen this with other contests where it's been very fair and very balanced. So I don't think there's anything to be discouraged here. It's not a popularity contest. We've seen that in the past. The best creations do win. Everybody votes um, fairly, and we've seen this. So there's no way to break the system. There's no way to exploit the system. Just because you have a popular name behind you does not mean you're going to win. We have seen very people, very popular people, not place first, second, or third in previous contests because there are simply better creations. So I've seen a lot of talk about this stuff that sometimes this might end up being a popularity contest and it, it's not the case. So do not be discouraged by the voting because it's not just the Discord viewers. It's not just the Discord members voting, it's also the viewers, the coaster enthusiasts, and the viewers outnumber the Discord members, so it's impossible to have a popularity contest. So I've, I'm going with this because I thought it worked, and it seems to be fair, and I've been happy with the winners of previous contests where you guys voted, and I also agreed with the results. So it should work out quite nicely. There you guys go. That's all the information. A last thing I forget to mention, you have to be a Discord member to, get con to participate in this contest. You, I've seen it before where you guys message me like two days before the contest ends. Hey, I created this and I don't know who you are. You're not even a member. So become a Discord member now if you want to participate in the contest. Get registered and then you can enter the contest. If you don't show up as a Discord member, uh, I can't give you prizes i can't communicate with you and it's unfair to everybody else who is a member if some anonymous person that we can't contact ends up winning so become a discord member just to make sure everything goes smoothly there you guys go um so the link to this rules page will be in discord not the youtube video so that the discord members only can um access it which also means the submission form is also going to be exclusive to discord so if you're watching this video and you're not a discord member there is no way for you to participate in the contest <laughs> and don't submit them through the spotlight submission form use the contest submission form that floss will have created in the next couple days which you can find on discord boom so that's all the information you guys need to know i'm excited for this it's been over a year i love exploration co coasters and i want to see what you guys can do with the beautiful terrain and vistas and long coasters so get sculpting get out there building and make some awesome coasters all right guys that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye now